From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The recovery progress coming into clearer focus after Hurricane Michael. State Farm just getting a waiver to use a drone in damage assessments. Insurance claim inspectors say it could take a person one to two hours to assess a home, depending on the damage, but it can be done in just minutes with a drone. A driver now recovering after plowing his car into a plaza in Largo. Pictures of that crash showing up on Twitter. Look at that. It happened around 9 o'clock this morning at the plaza off South Belcher Road, not far from Olmerton. For the first time since 2008, the United States is back on top as the most competitive country in the world. The World Economic Forum says the U.S. clinched the title for three reasons. Our business culture, which welcomes risk and disruptive ideas, our productive workers, and our solid banking system. In other news, a new study says flavored e-cigarette liquid is more dangerous than unflavored kinds. Yale just did a study that found adding flavor changes the chemistry and puts more irritants into the vapor. It says those irritants can cause more inflammation along with cancer, heart disease and diabetes. And women here in the U.S. are having fewer kids. A new CDC report says the fertility rates dropped over the past decade. The report also found first time moms are older on average. Now here's Dennis with your forecast Den. Hey, Don Wendy. Hey, everybody. Temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s on Thursday. That broke records. Same thing again on Friday, right back in the lower 90s. And again, I look for more record breaking heat. Although by the time we roll into the weekend, I think these 80s and 90s are going to cool off, especially on Sunday as a cool front brings our highs on Sunday in the middle 80s, even low to mid 80s and morning lows on Monday morning in the low to mid 60s. Wendy. I like that. Thanks, Dan. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.